Hi guys, welcome back to new tutorial series on navigational component. In this tutorial, I will explain you exactly what is navigational component and how to use it in your Android applications. All right, so I have created this example and this is exactly what we will be building. And as you can see, we have the navigational graph. This is the graph that uh, we have in our app. And in our app, you will have four fragments. The first fragment is the main fragment. So we will set this as a home fragment. As you can see, there is a home button here and this would lead to two possible destinations fragment a and fragment b we will have two buttons and if you click on fragment a button fragment a will be hosted in our nav host container and if you click on fragment b fragment b will be hosted in our nav host container and not just that as you can see we have linked fragment a back to main fragment this would help us to go back or navigate back to our main fragment and for instance fragment b could lead to one possible destination which is fragment C and fragment C could lead back to fragment B and if you want fragment C to be navigated back to the main fragment just remove this link and link fragment C to main fragment and in the next video I will be discussing these two fragment in more details because this fragment is using save arguments that receives a string from this fragment and to show you the result of this navigational graph let's run our app all right as you can see in our main activity we have have a nav host and main fragment has been hosted as a default fragment which has two buttons if you click on fragment a button we should get redirected to fragment a so let's do that as you can see we are in fragment a and if you click on this back arrow it will redirect us back to the main fragment and if you click on fragment b fragment B should be hosted in this container. And as you can see, fragment B has been hosted in our nav host container. And if you want to send data from fragment B to fragment C, you can type something here. So let's say hi there. And if you click on send, as you can see, the data has been passed to fragment C and fragment C has been hosted in our nav host fragment. So this is exactly what we will be building for the next two videos. However, in this tutorial, I'll be only showing you how to implement navigational component in your app and how to create navigational graph and how to create uh, multiple fragments that is linked to each other and how to set listeners so that we can navigate from one fragment to another fragment. However, in the next tutorial i will be showing you how to implement save args between two fragments so that you can send data from one fragment to another fragment so without further ado let's get started all right so first we need to implement our navigation component and the easiest way is to go to resource manager and from there you need to navigate to navigation and then click on this button sign and then create a navigational resource file and you can name it as my nav and then click on OK. And if you get this error because we do not have these two dependencies and all you need to do is to click OK to import them. And now we need to create few fragments and obviously you can go to project and then to Java and then right click on this and then you need to go to blank fragment. However, I will show you an easier way to do this in our navigational graph or my nav. You can click on this plus sign and click on create new destination and here just name your fragment. So the first one is main fragment and you need to unclick this include fragment factory methods. We do not need this. And definitely we want to create a layout.xml and then click on finish. So now we have our main fragment. However, we need to create a few more fragments so that we can navigate between them. So let's create a new one. And this one, we will name it fragment A and unclick this and then click on finish. And let's create another fragment and we will call it fragment B and let's unclick this, click on finish. So let's move this down here. And to link one fragment to two fragments, we can link main fragment to fragment A. Just click on the circle and drag it to fragment A. We will have one link to fragment A. And from fragment A, we can link back to main fragment so that we can navigate back to our main fragment. However, in main fragment, we can also navigate to fragment B, just like that. And then from fragment B, can navigate to main fragment and this is how we do it and to see the source code of these links you can click on split and as you can see we have multiple fragments 
and each fragment could have an action and this action is basically to navigate from fragment A to main fragment. So basically this action could navigate back to our main fragment. However, our main fragment has two possible actions. The first one is to navigate from main fragment to fragment A and the second action is to navigate from main fragment to fragment B. And just like that, you can see all the possible links. And if you go back to the design mode, click on this. And as we discussed, we need to have a single activity, which is our main activity. And then we need to set the container that would be called nav host to host our fragment. So let's do that. So to set our nav host, we need to go to activity main.xml and you need to delete this hello world text. And then you need to click on this search button and then basically search for nav host. And once you get this nav host fragment, you need to drag this and put it in our main activity. And as you can see, this identifies that we have a navigational graph and then we need to select our navigational graph, which is my nav and then click on OK. And definitely you need to set some constraints to this and we need to modify this a little bit. So split the screen for the width we have match parent and for the height we will have match parent. And then we need to remove these two so that we will have some constraints. So constraints top to the top of parent and then constraints bottom to the bottom of parent as well and then constraint left to the left of parent and then constraints right to the right of parent as well so once we have this um, this error is gone because we were missing the constraints that we had and now we need to add some widgets to our fragments for example for our main fragment we need to have two buttons and for each one of these fragments we need to text so that we know in which fragments we are in so if you go to main fragment um, xml file you need to go to to resources and then layouts and then double click on fragment main and you can go to the split mode and we should delete this and have two buttons here so the width would be 200 dp and then the height would be wrap content and do not forget to provide an id and the id would be fragment a btn and then we need to add a text to it which is fragment a and then we need to add a text size of 20 sp and then text style to bold and then we will add a text color and the text color would be white and let's add a background color and the color would be this and we need to set some constraints but first we need to change this frame layout to constraint layout and once you have done that you need to set constraint top to the top of parent and then constraint right to the right of parent and then constraint left to the left of parent and then we will have a margin top of 250 dp and then we need to close this and we do have a problem here. We need to remove this dollar sign and replace it to hashtag. And as you can see, we have our first button. And for the second button, we need to just copy this and then paste it down below and change the ID from fragment A to fragment B button and then change the text A to B. We need to set the constraints top to the bottom of the first button. So to ID of fragment a button and then change the margin top to 25 dp and you can change this color to this color yep i think this is it for this layout and now we need to go to mynav.xml and as you can see this um, fragment has been updated now let's work on fragment a and b so let's go to fragment a.xml and then go to split mode and change this to constraint layout and you need to update this so let's give this an id of um, fragment a title and then you need to add the id and we need to change this match pattern to wrap content and then this one as well and change the text to fragment a and let's add some style to it so text size of 40 sp and then text style of bold and then we need to add a text color and the color would be color accent and then we need to set some constraints so constraint top to the top of parent and then constraints bottom to the bottom of parent and then constraints left to the left of parent and then constraint right to the right of parent and we can copy this and paste it in our fragment b let's go to split mode and then paste it here and you need to change this to fragment b and then change this to fragment b as well you can change the color 
to this color and then you need to change the frame layout to constraint layout and once you have done that if you have this error just remove this first one and then go constraints top to the top of fans and your problem has been solved so if you go back to our um, navigational graph as you can see our graph has been updated as well and to see the results let's run our app and it works as you can see we were able to host our main fragment as a default fragment however if you click on any of these this will not get navigated because we need to set on click listener to these buttons but before that if you are really curious on how to change these color this is really easy you need to go to resources and then values and then style and you can change these to any color that you want to me i like this kind of blue color and then if you run your app as you can see we were able to change the color from purple to blue and to set the on click listeners to these buttons we need to go to main fragment and in here we need to set some on click listeners to the buttons so in main fragment you need to override method which is on view created and to do that you need to click on control and O and then search for on view created and then click on OK. So once you have this, you need to set on click listeners to the buttons and then navigate to that fragment. So for the button, we have fragment A, B, T, N and then we need to set on click listener to this and the way to navigate from one fragment to another fragment in other words, to replace fragment A with the main fragment, we need to call navigation and then find navigation controller. And then you need to pass the view to it. And then you need to navigate to resources ID and then call the ID of action main fragment to fragment A because this is the ID that we have in our navigational graph. So this would redirect us from main fragment to fragment A. And the second one is fragment B button. And then we need to set on click listener to this and same the previous one, we need to call navigation and then find controller and then pass the view to it. And once you have this, you need to navigate to resources.id.main fragment to fragment B. And I think this is it. So let's test our app. All right guys, so the default fragment is the main fragment that has two buttons. And if you click on fragment A, we should get redirected to fragment A destination. So let's click on this. It works perfectly. So if you go back and click on fragment B, it works perfectly. However, we do not have this arrow back so that we can navigate back to the previous fragment. So let's go to main activity.kotlin and in on create method, we need to set up um, action bar with navigation and then find controller. And we need to pass resources.id.fragment, which is the ID of nav host. And once you have this, you need to override one more method, which is on support navigation up and once you have this we need to create an object of nav controller and then we need to call find navigation controller and pass the resources dot id dot fragment and before we return this support navigation up we need to call our object that we have just created so nav controller and then we need to call on navigate up and then this could be an r so if you have our fragment here we can navigate up if not then we will have a simple navigate up so to see the result just run your app all right, so if you click on fragment A, as you can see, we have been redirected to fragment A. And if you click on this back arrow, we should go back to the previous fragment. And if you go to fragment B, same as before. And if you click on the back arrow, you should go back to the main fragment. All right, guys. So the last thing is the title for our action bar. As you can see in our action bar, we have the name of our fragment layout. And if you want to customize this or change this, you need to go to uh, mynav.xml and then split the screen. And in each one of these fragments, you can change the label of this. So in this, we will have dashboard. And in fragment A, you can change this um, label to fragment A. And fragment B, you can change this to fragment B. And let's run our app. As you can see, we were able to change the title of action bar to dashboard. And if you go to fragment A, we have fragment A. And fragment B, we have fragment B. 
All right, guys, congratulations. We have made it. I hope this helped. And in the next video, I'll be explaining how to create another fragment so that we can send data from one fragment to another fragment. In other words, communication between two fragments with the help of safe arguments. All right, guys, so if this is what's useful, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. So see you guys in the next video and happy coding.